Hi guys, I am back with Evander and Corbin. They are my two newborn boys, the only two newborn boys I have. Yeah, you all know I don't have very many boys in my collection. I'm more into the girl babies. I guess it's because I never had girls when I had children. I had four boys, so I like dressing the girls up in pretty dresses and bows and fixing their hair. Okay, let's get him dressed. I'm not going to waste too much of your time in this video because I do have quite a few videos to go. I think I'm going to do, the next video I'll probably do is probably Sage. She's only one, so her video will be really quick. And then um, the boys are two and the other girls are only three. So I think the newborn girls were the big haul. All right. So Evander here, he is the Owen Sculp. I know I didn't tell you the other girls, but it's something for me to talk about while I'm dressing these guys. He is the Owen Sculp, and um, he was painted by Reborn Bless My Sister, who is now um, at home trying to get trying to um, get better. She has been she had a really rough ride in the hospital. She's been very emotional, but she has a lot of family that love her and support her and she's got a lot of friends friends and family is what we call we call you guys our family so I really want to thank all of you for praying for her she's still going to need a lot more prayers because it's never curable it's only treat treatable so she will always need your your prayers to help her get through this treatment because for a while it's going to be very rough trying to get used to taking the chemo medication and um, dealing with side effects. I'm hoping she doesn't get too many of them. There's my little boy Evander. Evander's wearing this white sleeper with little anchors all over it and a whale. So cute. He is such a cutie. My sister did a great job painting him. All right, so I'm going to put him aside. And we're going to grab Corbin, my little Corby. Say hi. Say hi. All right. He has been so good this morning waiting his turn. Evander is asleep, so I thought I'd better do him first. <laughs> All right, Corbin, you're going to wear your pajamas. Corbin's going to wear his dog pajamas because you all know how Corbin loves dogs. And the, good, the other good thing with Corbin is I don't have to brush his hair. He has painted hair. And Corbin is the Asher awake. They don't make his kid anymore. I don't know if they make the Owen one. Somebody told me they don't, but I think they still do. So when, when they made Asher, this was... The time that they made him, they didn't make the real born with full arms and full legs. They made the Asher with three-fourths arms and full legs, which he's the only real born that's like that. It kind of depressed me because I like the full arms. Okay. And he was painted by Michelle's Country Cradle. And he will always be the only baby in my collection that's got the painted hair because I'm not really into painted hair. I'm more into the hair, like I said in my last video. But for some reason, it just suits him. And plus, um, Michelle did a great job painting his hair. If I could have any painted hair baby, I think she'd probably be the one I'd choose. Well, I really don't know many other people that paint hair. I've never had one before. This is the only one. But he's a cutie. All right, so there he is in his little dog sleeper. They're blue, and it's got little dog faces all over it. And then over here is the full dog, blue with a little light blue patch on his eye. So there's Corbin ready for his travels. I'm going to put him aside, and we're going to pack their clothes next. Okay. So here are the clothes for the newborn boys. It's it does look about the same as the newborn girls, but, um, yeah, there's only two of the newborn boys, and yet we have about the same amount of clothes, right? Totally crazy. But, 
And I really doubt I'll ever get any other boys, but I guess you can't say never because you never know what could happen, right? I may go to the show and not be able to get my the baby I want and I'll end up getting another boy. All right. Then I'll show you how full the box is after I get these things in there. I think this is all of them. Yep. This is going to be all of them. I'm trying to keep them semi folded so they take up a little less room if they're all nicely folded in the box. Okay. All right, now I'm going to take you over and show you how full the box is now. So there we have, I see, can you guys see in there? It's kind of hard because I got the camera turned the other way, sorry. Um, so there is how full we have it. This is a pretty good sized box. Let's see if I can go right above it. So that's how full the box is. I'm thinking all the baby's clothes should all fit in here because now I have the, um, I still have Liam's clothes and I have, um, oops, and I have Sage's. Sage actually has almost a full drawer of clothes just for herself. And, well, because she used to say share clothes with um, Skylar and eventually Skylar will be coming back in my collection. I'm going to have somebody paint her for me. And, um, oh, you know, I did forget one reborn, one newborn girl, but she's an awake one, so we'll, I'll have to dress her with Sage, I guess. I forgot all about her. I forgot I do have another reborn girl. So, actually, I have five. So, there's Mr. Corbin. And here is, oops, sorry, Vander. My two boys. <laughs> All right, everyone, I'm going to end for now because I think Ethan should be getting up soon. So I'll be back later on in the day, and I will address Sage and Lark together. And probably um, I'll have to, have, have to figure out how I'm going to get them all done today because I need to all be done today. So I will eventually get to all of them. All right, so I will see all of you in a few hours with the next babies. Have a great day. Big hugs and many blessings. Bye, guys. Say goodbye, Corby. Bye.